Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Zmer, Zimmer, 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 I don't care. Z M M R, Zelda, Majora's Mask, Randomizer. I'm Silverwolf94, and we're running late on some things, and we are running out of ideas and things to do. Um, ow. Oh my god. I need to just. I just need to hold the magic and get out of the water. So. Like I said in the last episode, I want to start this episode off by going into the Pirate's Fortress. There's only three things I can get in there without the Goron Mask or the Hookshot. But that's that's still three items. So, I mean, maybe I can get one of those two items in there. And that would help us progress a lot more inside that place and outside. So, we're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. But we are running out of ideas. Like, I also want to check the... Uh, two chests that we can get over in the uh, Pinnacle Rock as well, since I can do that, but hopefully I don't have to do that, because I can't get any of the eggs right now anyway, so I'd have to go back and do it again. So, I'll only really check it if I don't make any progress in here, which I'm kind of hoping I can make some progress. I'm hoping one of the three items I need is in one of the three chests in here. Huh. Dragon Roost Island is interesting for this area. Okay. Sure. Pirates, you know, Wind Waker, a game with pirates in it. Maybe they don't do anything on Dragon Roost specifically, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. A bottle of gold dust. Okay, well, that gives us a third bottle, and we can sell that for the 200 rupee reward over in uh, Clock Town from the curiosity shop, which I should do after I leave here before I do the Pinnacle Rock. Because if I don't, I'm gonna have some problems because it's gonna close in a couple hours. So I'll uh, sell that. Also, I kind of hope this is rupees. I'm running low on rupees. I really want more money. Oh, a piece of heart. I mean, I can take health I'm healed again. I was low on health because of these things. Stupid bonefish that think they're good. Uh, one more. Hey, okay, there's that guy dead. Open this chest. Please be something good. I see the golden trim and the moon's tier. Okay, that gives me another check in Clock Town. So we're definitely heading back to Clock Town. We will figure out um, the Pinnacle Rock if I run out of ideas and things to do. There's only two items I can get in there without the seahorse anyway. Actually, before I leave, I just remembered something that I should definitely do. I should get a picture of the... The I almost said police officers. Yes, <laughs> it's the police officers. That's exactly what these guys are. Not pirates. Police officers. All right, I'll be fine. Maybe who knows? All right, wait for them to go past because I can't put on the stone mask here yet. Okay, now I can head up. Get oh, get get up, get up, get up. Stone mask. Okay, stone mask is on. Now I can jump in here and I just spawn on top of that. He wants the face, but I don't know if I need the full body, so we're gonna try- Okay, thank you for turning, Boat. I really appreciate it. <laughs> this is definitely not a good enough picture. Oh, it takes forever on the emulator. Alright, we're gonna try. He said he wants the face, so we're gonna hope this is good enough. But we might have to come back and take a full body shot. Which will be awkward. Oh, she has her eyes closed. I don't know if that would have mattered, but you know what? I, I don't want to take the risk. Third time's the charm. Let's get this picture. This one should work. Yeah, that should work. Smile for the camera, sweetie. Actually, I can back up and get a better picture from here anyway. Yeah, I might just do that. Because I can get off here. Yeah, this is a better view. Paddle photobombing again. She likes to do that. She loves that, actually. She's actually super photogenic. She makes her, like, she makes everything sparkle. She is a spotlight. It's true. Honestly, I could just get caught now. I don't mind. I shouldn't have even jumped off. Wait, how do you not see me? Are you okay? Hello? Thank you. <laughs> I was so confused. We're, we're good, though. Kick me out. Now let's go and hopefully this picture is good enough for the fisherman. It's just a piece of heart. Eh, it's still worth it. I'll still try to sell it. So I have to talk to the piece of heart itself, I believe. Tell me, please take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock. How about no? I am interested in it, but is this picture good enough? Let's find out. I need a picture of the female pirates. Is this good? Yes! Perfect! Okay, we don't need full body. As long as we got the face, that's good. Alright, we got another piece of heart. We got three pieces. We're close to our fifth heart already, and now the piece of heart is talking to me. 
it wants to go back to Pinnacle Rock. We're not going to do that right yet. We're actually going to head over to uh, Locktown now. We're going to do the Moon's Tier, and uh, I wonder if I can afford the Mask of Truth at the Trading Post. I forget how many rupees that was. Was it 80? I hope it's not 80. Because it's getting close to the third day, and like another thing I thought of between episodes is I can do uh, Mamamoo Yan's uh, Doggy Racetrack. And uh, the Mask of Truth would make that a lot easier. Like, guaranteed victory type of thing, so... I'm gonna try to get it. I think it's 80 rupees, which I wouldn't be able to afford, but I mean, I can just go kill the bird and uh, determine a field. Oh, it's 50 rupees! Okay, well, we're out of money, but that's fine. We got the Mask of Truth now, so that's something. So when it does tick over to the fourth day, we can... Or the fourth day, yeah. If it takes over to the fourth day, we lose. <laughs> if it takes over to the third day, we can uh, uh, go... Over, well, when it takes over to the third day, we can go over to there and get another item. So we are thinking of things that we can do. Um, Start. Okay, so we'll sell the gold dust. This is the 200 rupee reward, which means that the only thing I'll have to come back here to sell is the... Uh, uh, the Poe from... Oh, Camaro's Mask! I could do that while I'm right here. That would be convenient. Um, because I'm in West Clocktown now. But the, uh, 50 rupee reward can only be gotten from a Poe from the Stone Tower Temple. The Inverted Stone Tower Temple, as far as I know. And, uh, there's no way I'm doing that in this cycle, or at least for the next foreseeable future. So, we're just gonna ignore it. But let's, uh, let's dance... Let's dance for these ladies, the lovely ladies. I'm not twirling around, I'm sitting in a chair, but you know, that's good enough. Alright, so hopefully they can give me something good. Because even though I have thought of a lot of stuff to do, I am running low on ideas, and I need to find something soon, or there's going to be problems. The hookshot would unlock so many things where I thought about it, and the Goron Mask only gives me a few items in uh, Snowhead. Because without the hookshot, I can't really do anything over in Akana or anywhere, so... And without the Goron Lullaby, I can't even enter Snowhead, so... The Goron Mask doesn't help us that much, but it does give us a few things, and... Ocean Sculptal of 5, I mean, why not? It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Master, we're so cool, look at us, yay! Uh, what should I do? Uh, oh yeah, the Moon's Tier, Moon's Tier, okay. Um, we could do the Moon's Tier. Oh, we have to sell the, uh, Title Deed as well. So we can sell the Swamp title deed, but we can't sell the Ocean title deed yet, because we don't have the Goron Mask, which is needed for some reason. Because he's like, oh, you're from the mountains. Because he generalizes where we are by our species. Alright, well, you would like to buy a Moon's Tear, and I would like to give you a Moon's Tear. Yes, please be something good. Uh, oh, that's the, that's the town one. That's two more items. Okay. You know what? We're actually getting a lot more items that I thought than I thought that we could do, so can't even complain. That's two items because we can go there as human and again as non-human. Because when you go in as non-human originally, uh, you're given the magic power and the ability to shoot bubbles as a Deku scrub. But if you return that fairy again to the Clock Town uh, fairy as a human link, she gives you the Great Fairy's Mask. So we actually get two items for that one fairy. So that's really exciting. So let's go and give that to her now. Give it to her. I think we have to leave and come back. What do we got? A uh, large quiver. 40 arrows is never a bad thing. Alright, what's our second reward? It is... Amazing! A fool! Nash it before we die. Okay. Uh, so we'll head over to the southern swamp now. So I can sell the swamp title... Oh no, we have to go to the mountain, sorry. To sell the swamp title deed. Same thing, I'm going there anyway. Alright, we're back, so we can get two rewards from him. Unfortunately, we can't buy his item because, you know, we don't have gold. He's only selling a piece of heart anyway, so it's not a progress item. If that was the hook shot I would have needed to find the Goron Mask first, so... You know what, we can still sell this and get an item from him. And he'll give me the land, and... The oh, good, good. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you, thank you. But now we can actually come into the flower and get the heart piece equivalent up here, which is... I fell off, but it looks like the room key. I tried to get a better view of it rather than walking into it, and I went too far because I'm really good at this game. Yay, the room key! So, uh, we can definitely get into, uh, 
that one room in the middle of Stockpot Inn and get another reward, but before we head back there, I got a comment on my last episode saying that if I bomb the uh, snowball at night, I can actually enter the Goron shop. So even though, or the Goron silly city, the, the Goron silly, <laughs> that's not what I meant to say. So if that's the case, I want to try that before I head out. I don't have the blast mask, so I'm going to have to time this. Oh, come on, that should have worked. Wait, how did- what? Do I need bomb shoes? Do I need- come on. I don't have bomb shoes. That- that should have worked. Okay, hold on. Okay, I killed myself. Well, I don't think that's gonna work. It's almost, uh, the dawn of the, uh, final day anyway, so I'll just come back and get in on myself. It's fine. Um, at another point. I will head to the stockpot in now. But speaking of comments on uh, the last episode teaching me what I can do that I'm apparently terrible at and I don't want to worry about, uh, <laughs> I got a lot of comment question of the day answered in the last episode that I really wasn't expecting. So thank you guys for showing a lot of uh, like love and care into the series. So just to like give back to you guys a little bit, I'll read off some of my favorite comment questions of the day answers. So, uh, wait, this is West Clock. I wanted to go to East Clock Town so I could get into uh, Stockpot. I'll be okay. So, one common question of the day I asked, well, the common question of the day I asked last episode were what did you like about Majora's Mask 3D and what did you not like about Majora's Mask 3D? So, one of the answers I got was that the graphics are good and pretty much everything else is bad, and I can see that. Another common question or another answer was that the good is that the improved tracking of items from the Bomber's Notebook and pretty much everything else is bad and they don't like the graphic change because it removes some of the darker tone, which I can also see. I do kind of agree with that, but I like the updated aesthetic of it. It's kind of different. Um, it, it kind of contrasts. Oh, that's nothing really. Kind of contrasts that answer, but I don't really know how else I can explain that on my own position. And then I got a really in-depth one that was like pretty much my idea to a point, like my entire like feelings of the game that went so worded so well, like, that there's a long await of return for the established fans and it just didn't live up to expectations. They changed things unnecessarily, like the Zora swimming and uh, the Deku taking too much startup. But then there's still some of the good things, like the graphics and uh, the notebook, the Song of Double Time being able to go forward to any hour. So good. It's such a good feeling. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. It's almost the third day. I may as well go and do the Deku playground. There's no point in me finding something to do in the next five minutes in game time. It'll be okay. <sighs> I haven't really thought of a new comment question of the day yet. We'll see how the rest of this episode goes, but first let's, uh, let's see if I can get some more rupees. There's the 20 I was hoping for. I did be able to destroy it in time. That's good. Okay, well, it's the final day, so this is good. Now I can play the uh, Deku Playground at least once, so hopefully we get it on our first try. Oh, I lost that rupee, but hey, the money or the grass respawned, so uh, that was the fastest grinding I have ever done here. <laughs> I'll take it. So we're at 57 now. That's that's a pretty good amount of rupees. Also, the final day music is just Mayor Dotor's office. Just the calamity that's happening in the town. Oof. Entering in here. Okay, so. We do get a reward this time, unlike the last time, and I'm really hoping it's something good. I really need it to be something good at this point. Alright. And rupees. Perfect. Okay, so we do have to do this. This one's a little easier than the last one, because there's the vertical ones as well as the horizontal, and I find the horizontal moving ones harder to land on, because you have the time your uh, drops, whereas you can just pretty much wait for... Uh, these to line up for you, and it's much easier to aim for the ones that are moving up and down. Which is why the first day is the easiest, and I think this is the second easiest, and that's why I also believe that the second day is the hardest. Also, this is just so easy, I don't even have to move for that one, it's so good. But, this isn't like, the easiest one, because the first one is definitely the easiest. But I still think this one's, like, pretty good. The second day is definitely the hardest. That said, watch me fail to get this bloopy here. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, I got it. We're good. <laughs> All right, hopefully this is a good reward. Please. I'm begging you. Something good. 
Uh, great bay, straight fairy. Yay. Uh, I'm running out of ideas on things to do now. I can check, like, the lottery, but it's easier to do that on, like, the first day and go back in time and just do that right away so you can just remember the thing because there's only one reward from the lottery as far as I'm aware. Uh, we're actually gonna... That is the Zoro Mask, not the arena. I wanted to take out the Ocarina. I was gonna head over and do Mamami Yan's racetrack because it's, I think, the only thing I can do without going back to Pinnacle Rock. And I really would rather avoid going back to Pinnacle Rock if I can't do the Zora Eggs without the Hookshot or the, uh... The, uh... Goron Mask or something to allow further access to the Pirate's Fortress. So... You know, this is where we get some good things. The, uh, Bunny Hood comes in really well in here because we can run faster. Which helps because we have to run a decent bit. Unfortunately, we can only come in here on the final day. So I can't do the alien side quest because I don't have the Goron Mask or the uh, Powder Keg. So, you know what? We can only do so much. We gotta try our best. So, uh, we'll just head into Mama Yon's, do the doggy racetrack, and uh, that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, we can't get the chest up on top of the uh, area without the hook shot. So hopefully she gives me the hook shot. Luckily, I got 50 rupees, so I can bet all of that and get triple reward and get the reward and some money which I can deposit into the bank. So that's probably all I'll do in here now. I should put on the Mask of Truth. There we go. So she's gonna ask me if I wanna play. What do you want on a day like this? This is Mamamu Yan's doggy racetrack, didn't you know that? Do you want to bet, or do you want to try a dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. Will you still try? I will still try. Then first go in and fetch the doggy you think will run the fastest and bring it here. Okay, I will. So, we got this over here, so we gotta get the gold dog. Wait a minute. Oh. I could plant a bean here, I guess, and get that. I never knew that was a thing. Okay, maybe we'll come back and do that since that's something else we can do. Today I should do pretty well. The thing with the randomizer is if you have the Mask of Truth, they made it so that this will guarantee a victory. So, the golden dog will always win if you, uh play it in the random. I apparently want to bet zero rupees because I was not paying attention. So we'll do this easily. We'll get 50 rupees. She'll give us triple our reward since we'll win, which will be 157 we'll be at, which is almost there. I might play it a second time. Oh my god, I'm in the back. I might play it a second time so I can get up to 200 rupees and I can get another bank reward by depositing that in the, in the uh, thing. Oh my god. Dog, you're supposed to guarantee a victory. What are you doing? Okay, he's catching up. We're good. I hope. Please? Okay, yeah, he did it. Okay. I was getting worried. I'm like, the randomizer's supposed to make this guaranteed. I was so worried. He was at the back for so long, but we're okay. <laughs> uh, that was, that was kind of scary, but we got it. We're good. All right, please give us a good reward. First place, first place, 150 rupees. Wow, you won that here. An ocean skull to low spirit, yay. I'll play again, yay. I'll play again just because I want to max out my wallet because I can deposit the full 200 rupees before we go back in time and uh, get a bank reward, so that's something. It's the longest I think I've gone without getting a bank reward in uh, this game. We don't really need to watch the doggy race again at full speed, so we're just going to speed this up, but I'm going to go big. I'm betting 90 rupees, so... I'll see you when we're rich and can hold everything. There we go. So now we should fill out our wallets. So honestly, the only things I can think of doing on this cycle now are coming back for that chest up there. Oh, that poor blue doggy. You did it, boy. Um, the, uh, that chest up there and the bank reward. I honestly can't think of anything else. Maybe the postman's game if that's still there, so... I'll just get a heart for that. I do not want to play again. Uh, I'm actually going to see if the postman's there. Because if the postman's there, then we can do that. And I can do that before I get uh, the bank reward, maybe. Because it, it'll cost me a couple of rupees if I fail it. Which I'll probably fail it a few times. My timing is a little awkward on that game. Even with the timer on screen, I'm actually kind of bad at it. So we'll see how that goes. Actually, I may deposit to get the reward, because if I spend rupees, I'll have to grind more. So this way I can deposit and then withdraw what I need. Well, withdraw like 20 rupees or something, which should do. 
I will deposit all 200 rupees, though. Give me a bank reward, please. 200 is the first of three rewards, so please give me something good. If this is the hookshot and I could have got it, like, so long ago, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> well, we got 200 rupees, and our reward is... Okay, I'm not too worried about that, Then You're rude. Oh, I just realized we're gonna get fooled every time we uh, go over that, so I'm gonna withdraw, like, 20 rupees. So before I get the 500 reward, I'm gonna deposit again. I'm gonna get fooled. That's rude. Ugh. I don't like that. Okay, 30. I went up too many times, but life goes on. I didn't care enough to go back down. 30 rupees should be enough to do this. I might even get it on my first try. It's, oh, it's open at 9? Really? Ugh. Okay, well, we'll just go and get the spring water and go back to Mamamoo Yan, and we'll come back for the postman's game. So I'll see you back at Mamamoo Yan once I got the spring water. Okay, we're back. So hopefully we can get something good up here, because if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. So we got... Oh, plant it in the thing. No, it's not okay, Mommy. Plant the bean in... The, I didn't even move. Good job, Link. You're amazing. We can't get anything good here. The only things I can think of are the Postman's Game, the Letter to Mama, which I have three things I can do with that, including the, uh, uh, the hand... Oh my god, the doggy! Hello! How are you? <laughs> he came up with me. He's my friend. Ah, uh, you're my good luck, doggy. You're gonna give me the hookshot, please. Actually did. Good luck, doggy. I love you. Oh my god. Now you have to love me too. Look at me. Yeah. He's so happy. Wait. Is he making kid link noises? <laughs> He's making kid link noises now. He's the Deku princess, but also kid link. His his loving is kid link. What's his? Oh, I, I can't make him scared of me because I don't have the Goron mask, so I can't see what his, like, scared bark is. What's his growl? I'm about to get attacked. Or... No, dog, no! Oh. What is that sound? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, I'm doing the scariest thing! They don't actually hurt me, but they're trying to, and I don't like it. Oh my god! Get all of the doggos! Come here! Okay, you know what? We're gonna lure them all to me, because they all love me. We got this. Come here, dogs. We have all of you. Oh, no. We're missing one. Come here, doggo. You got this. Alright, are you ready to pounce? I am a nightmare child! I have to celebrate! Because I got the hook shot, baby! They don't even want to kill me! It's a good day! Never mind! <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna go do things with the hook shot. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go and do I don't wanna do the spider house because we're kinda late in the episode, so it'll take a while. I can do the eggs now that I think about it, so I may as well just head over and do Pinnacle Rock, and then I can do the Pirate's Fortress. I'm really actually incredibly happy that we found the hookshot like i was running out of ideas on things to do and now i don't have to worry about it and it's so nice oh if i had another bean i could go up there actually i can get the two cows up there anyway i don't have to worry about the bean yet there's two cows up here that i can worry about that will give me more rewards so i'm not super in need of new items right yet i just got the hookshot and that unlocks so much that gives me like 28 items in the Skulltula house alone. Plus I can get those eggs now for uh, the uh, professor. I can do things in the pirate's fortress. Like, I can get up to Ikana. That just literally opened up so much for me. I'm so happy that I have this now. This is the item that would, I wanted the most. And thank you for good luck, dog. That's probably the episode title. Um, actually, that's a good comment question of the day. Have you ever been playing a randomizer and you called a chest, you're like, this is going to be this. Because I know I've been saying that like five times or 500 times. I'm like, it's going to be the hookshot. It's going to be the hookshot. And then eventually I was right. But I mean, does that really count? <laughs> I don't even know. You're not allowed to eat. I'm taking away all of your food supply cows. Your grass is going to just disappear. And you know what? I'm getting money for it. I am a lawnmower. No food supply for you. 
I am actually the rudest person. Look at this. Like, they, they're gonna, they have nothing they can eat anymore. And it's, well, is the grass respawning or did I just miss this? Am I just bad? I might just be bad. I don't think the grass is respawning. I think I'm just bad or blind or something. Well, they're gonna die soon. So we may as well ease their weariness and make them happy with music. I love the bass guitar for that. That's such an interesting sound effect. Reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me want to let go and put out a lot of milk. I'll give some to you. Milk. That is my favorite flavor of milk. Skultula flavored. I got spider milk. Spider milk. Spider milk. Does whatever spider milk does. Can it swing from a web? Probably not. It's a liquid. Hey, look. We got double magic. That's the best song. Also, I don't think Devil Magic's that important since we have easy access to uh, Chateau Romani. But you know what? It could be a lot worse. We are running... We're, well, we were running out of ideas, but now we're running out of time because it's 10 a.m. on the final day, so we're running out of things that we can do in this three-day cycle. So we're actually going to have to play the Song of Time for the first time very soon. Definitely next episode because I'm only doing the... Uh, this over here. There's two chests and I can get the eggs over here, which I'll do now. There's three eggs in here and I got three empty bottles, luckily. So, this is pretty much the last thing I'm going to do in here. We'll see what I get. I love that, like, I used to struggle with this so much, but it's just follow the signs and ignore the first one. <laughs> the first one you go, like, that uh, uh, sign is pointing to another sign. If you go past that sign, and then you just follow the signs from there, you make it. And I love it. It's so intuitive, yet also rude. The person who placed that one sign is super rude. That's all I have to say about that. I'll actually kill all of the uh, eels just in case I get lucky and find the seahorse too. I have to kill a lot of them anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, my emulator just glitched and it froze for a second. I was getting scared, but we're okay. We're fine. Uh, nothing in here. No, I don't remember which ones have the chests anyway. I think there's only two chests here So, you know, it's fine. I don't remember which ones have the chests, but or which ones have the eggs So I'm probably gonna just check them all anyway. So killing all the eels isn't even like extra effort But you obviously don't want to watch me doing this. So I'll speed up until I get an egg or a chest Well, this is our first of three eggs, so that's something we're making progress. Just got two more eggs in this section and probably two chests and we're done. We'll know when we're actually finished because there will be a seahorse that spawns when we kill the uh, thingy. Oh, another egg so quick. Did I really even have to speed that up? I just went quiet because I figured I'd be speeding it up, but I don't see much point in speeding it up for that one, but maybe I will. Who knows? It was literally the next one I found. That's sad, I don't think the next one is, like, up high, so maybe I'll speed it up from here again. You'll know more than I will in the editing once I figure it all out. <laughs> Ooh, a chest. Nice. The big important chest. Hopefully it's, like, the Goron mask. That would be really nice. Or the captain's hat! The other item I really wanted. I'll take it. We'll do something with that later on, because we haven't even headed over into Ikana yet. And I might save that for the next three-day cycle at this point, so we can get the three rewards from the graves. As well as, uh... Because I can get a red potion easily, and then we can heal Shiro as well, so... We'll save that for next three-day cycle before we head over to Ikana, I think. Yeah, I got two of the three items I really wanted. The Captain's Hat, which allows me to open the graves. Which is, like, a good few items. I think it's four items, maybe? And uh, I also got the hookshot, which is, like, 150 billion items. Oh, my God. Where am I going? This guy. You an egg. I think you're a chest. I think it's a non-important chest. Yeah. Probably a heart piece. It might be our fifth heart. Maybe rupees? I'd be okay either way. Oh my god, don't float. Open chest. Yep, heart piece, we send a new one. That's five hearts. We're actually getting to a respectable health number soon, so... You know what? It's all good. Alright, so I think this is actually the last eel now. 
here. Get dead. Is that the last seal? Yep, it is. So we've checked all of them now. So this is the egg. We're going to go deposit these. And uh, I'm probably going to end the episode there. I think I managed to do a short episode. Wow, that's impressive. We can definitely do the rest of the eggs in the uh, next episode before we go back in time. We can also do the beaver race and then head back and hopefully we can do uh, uh, the uh, postman's game. If not, I'll just wait until the next three day cycle. It'll be okay. Well, we got three of the, four of the seven eggs. I didn't honestly expect to be doing the Zora eggs on my first three day cycle, but here we are. It works. I can't complain that much, right? I mean, I did manage to get the hookshot. This is one of the latest I've ever gotten the hookshot in a Zelda game. Well, not in a Zelda game, in a Majora's Mask randomizer. In Ocarina of Time, you don't get the hookshot very often, like, early on, because there's so many things you can do. But in this game, there's so much locked behind the hookshot, but it also doesn't help you very much early on. It's really interesting. Like, you need the hookshot for a lot in Great Bay and the entirety, pretty much, of Ikana. And, but there's so many things you can do beforehand, so you usually find it early on, but you don't need it early on. It's weird. But this time I did not find it early on, but you know what? We've made it decently, so I'm going to actually uh, head up towards the uh, beavers, and we're pretty much done for this episode. So thank you guys for watching this actually productive episode of Zimmer. I'm really excited that we got this done. There's so much that there's so many things that we can do now with the hookshot. I'm so happy with that. Oh, I was really worried we weren't going to find anything for a long time. and I did not want to look at the spoiler log and luckily I didn't have to and we're good. We can move on. Oh, I'm so happy. So I'm just going to equip my other items that aren't bottles just because and uh, I want to get away from the levers. So I'm just going to hookshot up to the first tree. Oh my God because I don't want to deal with them. I could put on the stone mask, but I, that is too much effort I don't want to deal with. <laughs> it's, not, it's no effort at all. I just, I like to challenge myself. I need challenges in my life. Okay, we're safe now. We're gonna stay up here. There's two chests on the way to the beavers and the beavers themselves, and we're gonna find that out in the next episode. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one.